Can a dude with a nine to five talk to you or are you looking for that baller, shot caller, you know, that big stepper? I feel like a big stepper could be a nine to five too. Oh yeah? Well, depending on what he do on his nine to five, what's his job? If he on Wall Street, baby, <laughs> call my phone. You already know, baby, what's up with you? I can't be with someone that that is like lo lower, I don't wanna sound fucked up. Like, I don't want, I can't be with someone that's like lower than me. Like, like how I'm making more than you? You a little boy to me. I'll kiss you on your forehead. You a little boy. Nine to five could definitely talk to me because I don't got to worry about bailing your ass out. I love a nine to five. I don't got to come get you from jail and your money is for sure money. We not going to have a million this week and have 200K next week. Oh, so nine to five dudes is winning. I don't know if they're winning, but they're acceptable. Depends if his nine to five is able to live the same lifestyle I do. Some people got nine to fives, different salaries, but they not able to do certain things that I accustom my own self to doing so. If I'm making more than you, it's like, how is that gonna work? You're gonna feel like I'm the man in the relationship. It's not gonna work out. I want a nine to five right now because I've been in trouble before, so I don't want no more ballers. No more ballers? No more ballers. I'd rather go with a nine to five. Um, but I like, I love the suffers. Yeah, come on. Nine to five dudes is winning? Mm -hmm. In your book? In my book, yeah. And why is that? Why would you prefer the nine to five instead of the baller? Because I know that he'll be home by six and dinner's ready. What's your type? Um, he has to be smart. Gotta have some money, cause I got some money. He has to have a good car, cause I don't like driving all the time, or at least a chauffeur of some sort. I'm a little toxic, so you gotta put up with a little bullshit from time to time. Explain toxic. Like sometimes I just like to fight, but I like to make up a little bit right after, like five, 10 minutes after, but I like, I'm a little, I'm a little hands on. Let me see what you're working with. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. With a little belly, I don't like muscular guys. A little swoop to the side, I need to have a beard. Something like that. She wants the dick! I like chocolate man, tall man. Chocolate and tall. Chocolate and tall. Women too? Eh, sometimes when I'm drunk. So you open minded? I'm open to everything. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Somebody who's just really like just honest. Honest about their money, about their bitch, and that's it. And about family. So you into women too? Like now that I'm into them, but I like I'll talk to a girl, I'll have my little moments, but I like girls that look like me. Like they don't gotta be my twin, but I like girly girls and you know. So you're open minded. Very open minded. So if a dude comes in here, who's your type? But he's not spending no type of bread. Would you still fuck with him? I'm a businesswoman, so I have my own business. So it's like, how can I really be with someone that works for someone else? You work for me at that point. And at that point, you lose respect for a man if he's not providing more. So it's like, you could be my bitch. No, it's not my type. Because when you come to Starlet, you got to know where you're coming. Like, you can't just come and just sit there. Like, this is a place where, like, everybody's watching. Like, you got to put on a show. Like, this is Starlet, Star Tenders. You're a star, too. You're coming here. So you're going to come and just sit there? Like, what, what are you doing? Absolutely, because it's niggas for everything. It's niggas for the strip club. It's niggas, like I said, that buy you shoes. Certain niggas, you don't ask for shoes because they buy bags. And certain niggas, that you don't ask for a bag because they want to buy a house. So it don't matter that he didn't spend money on him. That's actually a good thing that he didn't spend money because now nobody else is paying attention to him. Do you buy guys things? Absolutely. Everybody knows I'm a trick. She need to spoil me. What's the most you spent on a man? Uh, I bought a birthday gift in November from Eliante, a bracelet. That was probably the most, at once, the most expensive purchase for sure. Yeah, cause he might spend that money outside. Oh yeah, she open-minded. Yes or no? Now I'm telling you what I'm Oh nah, you switching it all up. Hold on, hold on. Is it, hold on, is it, is it yes or no? How am I supposed to know you don't like me if you don't show out for me? So it's a no. I'll be honest, if you don't come to my job at all and don't show me no love, it's a complete dub. I mean, once they come to the club and they show personality, sometimes you'll see a different side of them as opposed to, okay, let me throw these dollar bills at you and then I'll come home to nothing. So sometimes they'll show me something outside of the club that... So you'll substitute personality over dollars? Yeah, because you never know what they have. Sometimes a guy will come here and get a beer and his pockets is fat. Damn, she thick as fuck. That's that's not my type though. <laughs> I'm not really like, you know, when you was young, you used to be like, oh my god, oh Marion B2K braids, like, oh he looks so good, I do whatever. But nowadays it's just like I'm grown, like looks ain't everything. So it's like if you come in here and you know, like, especially if they came here for me. So if you said you see me post like who's coming out and you see like how it is in here, and you come in here just to stare at me in my face and just don't show love, don't support, like. 
That's a turn off. Let me, let's see what they come here for. Damn! Damn! <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, this is what they coming for. Who's your celebrity crush? Is El Chapo? Like, is it a celebrity? Who? El Chapo. <laughs> El Chapo. I like drug dealers better. <laughs> yeah, boy. His name is Maluma. He's so fine. So fine. Claude Hammers. The Lord is my shepherd. He know what I want. Excuse me, brother. Miss Parker! What you doing out here with all this ass? Double cheeked up on a Thursday afternoon. Because I'm in love with his music, Brent Fires. Ooh, Brent Fires. <laughs> all right, all right. Mm -hmm. well, what's your favorite track of it? All Mine. How'd that go? How'd that go? A little snippet. All Mine, All Mine. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. Drake. What's your favorite song? Kiki, so you love me? That's all I can think about right now. Would you say you're materialistic? 100%. I feel like, um, and I'm not ashamed to say it, I love things. I like pretty things. I'm a girl. I like to dress nice. I like the way it feels when I walk in a room and I have my shit fly and I can stand next to a nigga that got money and he knows I got money too. Like, I wouldn't say I'm materialistic, but don't come to me without the materials. <laughs> yes. I like the finer things, of course. Ooh, ooh, name some of the finer things. The finer things is traveling wherever I want to go, taking me shopping whenever I want to go. Anything fine, anything that's lit, anything that's just expensive and a good time. And Can we get a little 360 for the camp, see what you're working with? Fuck! But don't get it twisted, though. There is some people that do have a lot of brands, but they're actually broke. But that's not the situation over here. So you into Birkins and all that? No, actually, no. I think they're pretty ugly. They look like Michael Kors bags. Honestly, for a Birkin, you could just help my business. I like investments more. That That's sexy to me. If a man comes up to me, be like, oh, yeah, I want my girl to have a Birkin. This. No, babes, I want my girl to have a business. That's more important. How can you have a Birkin, but you have no business? Period. Like, how is that even a thing for you to sit here and just think that you accomplished something? Yes, queen, slay! I can be, yes. No, I'm not, but I feel like if you're going, all right, so I'm a go-getter. Um, like, I'm in nursing school, I have a daycare, I'm here, like, shout out to Starlet, just helping me pay for school, like, so it's like, you gotta kind of match my energy. Like, if you're not bringing something to the table that can, like, match what I got going on, then it's like, what are we doing? I like material things, but no, I'm not. What, what, what type of material? I like Chanel. Mm. I like expensive things. I like food. I like everything expensive, but I'm not materialistic like that. What type of places Just, you like to eat at? Um, my favorite spots are, like, Saki no Hana, Tao, um, Bond Street, Fleur. Fish bar. I hear that. Y'all nine to fives. Y'all like <laughs> gotta, gotta have that bread. Yeah, like the bill be like five hundred dollars, and I feel bad. Like it, that was like probably like two weeks of your check. I don't wanna put somebody in an uncomfortable position. So if you ain't coming right, then Holly yeah. ain't. <laughs> she ain't messing with you. Would you rather a loyal broke nigga or a rich nigga that cheats? I'm a boss bitch. So you ain't gonna cheat on me. If he's broke, I'ma just step him up, period. So he ain't gonna be broke no more, you know what I'm saying? Cause now he's with me. So if you have money and you choose to cheat, then you can go with a girl that's beneath me and then you'll see and you'll come back. And I won't want you at that time. So you willing to work with a broke dude and build him up? I'm willing to work with whatever I like. If I like you, obviously I'm not gonna know your situation right there you know what i'm saying so if we vibe and we chilling and i like your vibe and you know we connect whatever your situation then i will find out after then i can decide whether you're worth it for me or not i wouldn't be with a loyal broke nigga you can't be broke when you're with me because if you're with me you with someone motivating you to do better and be better so it's like you're not gonna be broke when you're with me so you're gonna hold it down with a rich nigga that cheats the rich nigga he's not gonna cheat because you don't cheat on me I love you, broken nigga. Why? 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 Because we can build. If I if I chosen you, then that means we can build. That means I love you for who you are. So if you love you and you don't got it right now, doesn't mean we can't build something together. Rich and cheating, that sounds like a good time, not a long time. So I'm gonna say a rich nigga that cheats. I feel like that's just the reality of it. That's just what's going on. Cause I don't want nobody broke. I'm not broke. <laughs>
We're going to figure out a way to make the rich nigga loyal. We're going to make it work. How you going to do that? What, what guarantees he's going to be loyal with you? It's not just about loyal. I'm a girl that just likes to know that back against the wall, you're going to pick me. I don't got to be the girl every day of the week. I just need to know when it comes down to it. You're going to pick up my phone call type shit. Oh, so you the one? I'm always the one. Do I know that he's cheating? Is it, is it like a orga like organized cheating? Like I get like you know what I'm saying? Cause you know relate those type of relationships. Them wives be at home where the men's cheating and they know they have a mistress and everything. You know what I'm saying? But how? What do you mean by cheating? He get into the bag, but he out there creeping. He got his side chicks, you know, and all that. I don't even know. I go crazy. Which one you pick? I I'll, I guess I'll just hold it down for the team and take it. <laughs> you gonna take? the rich guy. I'm gonna take the rich guy. I'm gonna hold it down for the team. P.O.P. Hold it down. As long as he got the money to cheat, then I'm probably gonna go with the cheater. He Ooh. pays the bills. I'm sorry. Open-minded? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, so what type of woman you into? Um, I think I'm, I gravitate to girls that look like me. I'm not gonna lie. Like, Kind of like slim, thick. You gotta like Marvel movies or something, or you gotta be a little different. You gotta be like a little fun to talk to and not too like serious and into yourself. BBL or natural body? I don't know, like everybody has their preference. So I have big tits. I like big tits. That's something that I always wanted for myself. Honestly, guys right now, they're into weird shit. Like some someone fantasies and then they go back to the girl that are natural i look at girls and most of them do be done i ain't going to front i be looking at like oh. jesus oh you be looking at that I, I be looking babe can we get a little 360 for the camera see what you're working with <laughs> lord have mercy we must stay focused brothers we must stay focused if you like your body natural look go get a natural but i personally feel like girls they, some girls have a little hatred towards the BBL and mm. stuff like that. I personally feel like, babe, if that's what makes you happy, don't knock it, like, don't knock it, just do it. You know we really get our bodies done for other girls. It don't really be for y'all. Like, I would have to say, I'm gonna say BBL, because I'm a little BBL guy, so what do I look like? But natural bodies are cool. But I like the, the butt and the boobs that stand up and, you know. You're beautiful no matter, no matter what, you're beautiful. So if you're, if you feel like you need some adjusting, go to the gym or just get that BBL. Whatever makes you happy. I got BBLs and I feel like I look better with my natural body. Like now I go to the gym and I'm just like, damn, like I wish I would have just not touched my body. But everybody's different. Like if you feel like you should get some work done, go get some work done.